Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video we will talk about antique chairs. So before starting this video like this video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. How to recognize antique chairs Antique chairs are fantastic complements to any house, and they can transform an average space into something remarkable. However we frequently want to learn more about an antique chair that we have inherited, purchased in a thrift or consignment shop or have long admired in a store display. Antique chairs come in a wide range of styles from decorative chairs to dining chairs, and they've been created in every country for thousands of years. Antique chairs frequently denoted the owner's wealth and rank. Even the president's chair in the Oval Office is now two inches taller than the others. As a result particularly ornate antique chairs have a rich and unique history. The most common question we get concerning chairs is how old is my chair? How to date an antique chair The first step is to check the antique chair's most obvious pieces. Feeling the seat running our eyes and hands down the back of the chair, and flipping the chair over to observe how it is formed are common examples. Of course if you notice screws or modern components, you can be sure the chair is a modern copy from the 19th, 20th, or 21st centuries. Vintage chairs on the other hand might still be valuable, especially if they were built by a reputable vintage craftsman. So, if you find any manufacturer tags make sure you do your homework. If you want to discover more about the greatest vintage furniture makers in the country, go to vintagefurnitureguide.com. While the seat of an antique chair typically provides us hints about its age, chairs often go through numerous upholstery versions. To put it another way just because a chair has modern foam and fabric doesn't imply it isn't old. While we usually anticipate to see down or feather fillings in an antique chair, there could be a variety of different components. Horse or pig hair, metal springs, straw or even old rags might be used. Antique chairs from the 19th century and earlier typically have feather down, horse hair and hand tied springs in their seats and backs. Examining the wooden frame of an antique chair is another approach to determine its age. A story may be told by a wooden vintage chair. Do you see any chisel or hand tool marks? Do you have any fine woodworking techniques such as dowel joints? These hints may indicate that the chair was made in the 19th century or earlier. Antique chair styles of course construction is only one factor we consider when determining an antique chair's age. To ensure that the chair fits the time period, it is also necessary to understand the stylistic aspects of various antique chair periods. To keep the length of this essay to a minimum we'll only explore common American chair styles. Federal period chairs were created in the United States between 1770 and 1830 during the federal period. Many furniture and design styles mirrored those of England during this time, but they may have begun to vary significantly. The following are some of the most popular styles of federal period chairs. Antique Chippendale chairs were known for their ornately carved back splats, which were often adorned with graceful curves and serpentine ornamentation. Antique Chippendale chairs frequently have curving legs and fancy feet. On the ends of a Chippendale chair's curving legs, ball and claw embellishments are prevalent. A more muted straight leg on the other hand is possible. Furthermore most Chippendale chairs from the federal period were built of mahogany, however you may come across some American walnut from time to time. Antique Queen Anne chairs have a slightly more subdued appearance than standard Chippendale chairs. An antique Queen Anne chair may have a carved shell on the top. However it's possible that there are fewer carvings in general. A vase-shaped splat may be found on the back splat or middle area of the chair's back. Many real Federal Queen Anne chairs had scrolled motifs that added to the chair's decoration. Finally vintage Queen Anne chairs frequently have sweeping cabriole-type legs in the front and on sometimes the back. This lovely chair is frequently finished with a simple pad foot. It's worth noting that numerous manufacturers in the 20th century continued to create this design of dining chair for decades. In fact, from the 1960s through the 1990s, it was one of the most common characteristics of classic dining room sets. Antique Sheraton chairs come in a variety of styles and can be distinguished in a variety of ways. On an old Sheraton chair we usually see straight or slightly tapered legs. Sheraton chairs are also known for having highly tooled fan-shaped backs or inlaid features. Thomas Sheraton excelled in designs for women and the neoclassical revival. As a result, highly elegant egg and dart inlay swags and bows carved into the chairs, and thin elongated components making up the backs of these ancient chairs are all possible. Sheraton's curved fan back was also a popular style. Antique Windsor chairs Antique Windsor chairs sat outside for much of their history. 
they have a gently curved fan-shaped back and finely tolled rungs, that appear to converge in the middle of the chair. Antique Sheraton Chair Antique, Windsor Chairs Antique Windsor Chairs sat outside for much of their history. Yes, it is correct. The original vintage Windsor Chairs were utilized as portable outdoor chairs. Antique Windsor Chairs exude refinement and grace. Continuous arm Windsor chairs were commonly designed in the 18th century, with one basic rung utilized for the chair's top and arms. Early fan back and fiddle back Windsor chairs were also created. The old parlor room needed people to gently lift their chairs and move them around, when company arrived therefore antique Victorian chairs frequently have only front wheels. Simply said antique Victorian chairs are stunning. The frames of vintage Victorian chairs frequently include unusual carved details. Antique Victorian chairs are frequently decorated with cupids, flowers and animal faces. The Victorian era was marked by a great affinity with the Renaissance and the French Rococo periods. Antique Victorian chairs frequently have these remarkable romantic qualities. This is frequently seen in other Victorian furniture such as antique wardrobes. You may also notice elaborate upholstery. Victorian chairs frequently feature deep tufted backs and circular seats. On old Victorian chairs you may also find deep rich velvets, needlework, or magnificent tapestry-like textiles. How much is my antique Victorian chair worth? Antique values fluctuate like any other market. Antique merchants frequently discover that certain chair models become popular and trendy, driving up the price regardless of age or quality. Chairs from the 18th century or before may hold a high value for many years to come. The best 18th century chairs, especially those signed by well-known furniture makers, tend to find buyers and sell for a premium price at auction. At a prestigious auction house a friend of ours sold a genuine set of Chippendale chairs, signed by Thomas Chippendale himself. She was overjoyed with her six-figure auction win. However, most of us will never own an antique chair of this grade, or even come into contact with antique chairs of this caliber unless we visit a museum. As a result, it's crucial to understand that daily or ordinary antique chairs are significantly less value. The condition of an antique chair is often what determines its value. Are the joints squeaky? Is the furniture in good condition, clean, and usable? Is the furniture in good condition, clean, and usable? Are there any fractures, stains or discoloration in the wood? Then there's the question of appearance and style. Does the chair have a nice appearance? Are the carvings complex and well-balanced? Does the artisan have a lot of skill? Is there anything unique about it, such as inlay, beautiful carvings, intricate feet or a lofty back? Finally, the value of an antique chair is determined by the item's appeal, as well as current household trends. Antique Victorian chairs have become hefty and out of place in modern homes in recent years. Similarly, carved Renaissance-style thrones may only be appropriate in specific homes. Antique chairs worth to be honest, you've arrived to the right site to learn about the value of antique chairs. Every day we update our listings with the latest antique chairs for sale. So you'll know what antique merchants are asking for antique chairs in terms of price and worth. So keep checking back. If you need help with antique chair identification please feel free to drop us a comment below. We do our best to provide informal antique furniture appraisals to everyone who visits our website. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.